we are going to hop right into this tutorial guys i'm using the black radiance beauty hydrate blur face primer first okay this is going to blur my skin and also hydrate it's very moisturizing and it does add a little bit of glow underneath my skin okay i really love this primer then i'm going in with the urban decay all nighter setting primer this one actually is going to let the foundation adhere to my skin it's going to give it longevity all right we need the we need the face to last all night all right even though i'm not going anywhere lasts all day <laughs> then i'm going in with the makeup revolution fix and glow ultra glow primer okay as you guys can tell from the name lots of glow this gives okay i use about a pump of two spread it all over the skin let me know if you guys prefer prefer when i just jump right into the tutorials or do you like when i do like a little preview a little snippet of the look before actually getting in to the tutorial let me know let me know down below but what i put on my eyes was just an eye base from mac cosmetics then i'm gonna go in with my foundation this is the naked hydromaniac tinted glow hydrator from urban decay i'm in the shade 81 i was using 80 before but 81 definitely has the perfect undertone for me it's a tad bit darker but it fits my overall skin tone so i really do like it so i'm using more of a dense stiff brush to press this into the skin okay if you want more coverage if you want your foundation to spread better and evenly and to get an even flawless blend you definitely want to use a flat top brush something that's densely packed with a lot of bristles and just press it into your skin okay and make sure it's blended very well you want to do this a couple of times okay just double check triple check okay make sure you get underneath your neck to ensure that your foundation is blended down to your neck as well it's time to conceal i've been rocking with the juvia's place concealers for so long and you know they haven't failed me not yet all right uh, this is in the shade 12 and 4 the deeper ones in 4 and this lighter one is in 12 and i'm going to use the lighter shade to highlight on the places i want to brighten the places i want to bring forward the places i want to really emphasize and stand out so underneath the eyes on the chin down the bridge of the nose um i'm going to reverse contour a little bit so i'm going to apply a little bit underneath where i would normally contour my face at okay now using the darker shade i'm actually going to use it as my contour color great tip if you want to use your products in a million different ways apply it in different places all over your face okay i love to use a concealer to contour conceal to highlight um, i can use concealer as a foundation if i would like okay now i'm taking my time to blend in that concealer and that contour color okay i'm taking my time to really press it in and make sure there's no creases make sure it's not accentuating any lines that i have and just blend it in very smoothly you really want to take your time with this process but also just make sure you're pressing it in flat you don't want to swipe you don't want to move the product you just want to press it in now this product from black radiance i've used it before i wanted to use it again it's a highlighter trio and it has blushes in it so i'm going to use all three and dab those all over my cheeks and it's going to really give me a glow and this beautiful rosy undertone to set i'm using my favorite setting powder all right of 2021 that's the juvia's place setting powder i'm actually using the shade sahari today i believe but yeah it's not as yellow so i'm using sahari a little bit and not sahari sahara and then i will use kalahari on top before i do add the powder i do blend out the concealer first and then apply the powder on top like that like I said before, I always pack my product in. I pack it in. You really want to pack it in to ensure that the product isn't moving around. Now to contour, I'm going to use the Black Radiance Medium to Dark Complexion Contour Powder. I use the last shade to contour, to contour my forehead, my jawline, all at eight. All right. Now going in with my setting powder. Now going in with my setting spray from Urban Decay. This is the All Nighter, a classic spray that drench that on your face drench it drench it drench it all right <laughs> now using the naked honey palette from urban decay i'm going to jump right into the eyes i did a simple super simple eye look i applied one color 
all over the lid and throughout the crease i applied a lid shade i darkened out the outer v it's it's really simple it's not nothing to this it's a simple simple eye look all right i was really trying to hurry up and get my makeup done so i can film my hair all right so i'm using that brown shade and sweeping that into my crease all over the lid i'm just using a fluffy brush because i don't want this concentrated at all and then i'm going in with a deeper shade this is what i'm going to use to add some dimension on the outer v so on the outer portion of my eyes, I'm going to pack it in there and sweep it in. Of course, while I'm working, I'm also doing mommy duties, okay? All right, helping my son with homework. So now I'm adding a little bit of a inner corner highlight. I don't know what shade I use. I didn't even show you guys. I use something in the palette, guys, just to highlight my inner corners, something very simple. And I'm going to apply that same shade underneath the brow bone. Okay, so taking this caramel light brown, I'm gonna use this to pack on my lids to brighten up the eye. But going back again with my fluffy brush to blend all those shades together and ensure that everything is seamless. I think I'm actually applying that lid shade in the inner corners as well. So uh, yeah, just dabbing a little bit of that. And then I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner pencil. This is from Urban Decay as well. This one lasts very long and it's super, rich and black and pigmented okay i really wanted to smoke out the lash line add a little something to this eye look so you're gonna see me do that then after that i am going to add some mascara i've been loving this mascara from makeup revolution uh it gives me the perfect amount of volume and length so i'm gonna apply a couple of layers of this mascara now for the lips i've been using the same lip pencil this nice chocolate brown lips lip pencil from NYX. I believe it's in Downtown Beauty. I'm gonna completely fill in my lip, just leave a little space in the middle. Then on top of that, I'm going in with KKW Beauty's lipstick in New 3. Um, I think their website is down because I cannot find this lipstick. So yeah, use the nude that works for you best. After that, I pop on some falsies. Um, these are an Amazon brand um, in the style Fluffy. I'm gonna link them down below, um, but I get like a huge pack of them for like 10 bucks. I'm gonna pop those on, add a gloss over top of the lips. I felt like it needed a little bit of something. Um, this one is from Maybelline. It's a hydrating lip gloss in pearl. And there you have it. The makeup look is complete. And soon after, I did style my hair in mini twists. The video is already up. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check out my previous videos for it. If you haven't checked it out, go look back at my previous videos and tell me what you think. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.